If you're like us, I'd be very surprised if you don't have at least one old smartphone lying around. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make use of it to give you internet access on the go and help you to keep an eye on where your vehicle is and what's happening there. So keep watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I know what you didn't like. What you need for this is an old smartphone, a power lead and an active SIM card. We're using an iPhone 6S, but you could do any of this with an Android phone too. And for our data SIM, we're using Smarty, who we've been using for a couple of years now and had great experience. They have flexible plans, but importantly, you can stop or change plan at any time as there is no contract, meaning you can put it on a cheap, low data tariff if you're not traveling and increase it to an unlimited tariff if you're planning to use a lot of data in a month. If you use the referral link in the video notes, you'll get a £10 gift card absolutely free when you sign up. So now let's look at what we can use it for. Firstly, if you don't want to spend money on a separate dedicated 4G Wi-Fi router, we can use the phone to create a Wi-Fi hotspot. Both iPhones and Android phones have this. Any other devices you need to access the internet, just connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot you have created. This means you're not limited to only being able to access the internet when you have your personal phone in the van. And a key advantage of having the separate phone rather than using your own is you can pop it in a waterproof box on the roof of the van to get a better signal if you need to. We do advise leaving some sort of indicator to remind you to take it down before driving off. And in areas of really poor signal, you could even pop it on a pole to get it even higher. When it comes to ways to help keep an eye on your van, this old phone can be a great help and do things a 4G router on its own can't. Both Android and iPhone come with built-in Find Me functions, so if you leave the phone in your van all the time, you can track its location. If you want to add a bit more functionality, the free app Life360 allows you to live track, record journeys, and set geofence alerts, all of which can be helpful to give you an early warning if your van were to get stolen and help locate it. Here you can see once we've set up Live360 on both the hidden phone and our normal phone, we can set up alerts when it moves out of set areas. We can also track its location and speed live, and it also keeps record of the last seven days of journeys, all for free. But what if your van was broken into rather than stolen? A geofence wouldn't tell you someone was in your van. Well, with the free Alfred Cam app, you can turn the phone into a remotely accessible security camera with movement notification, letting you check in on your van when you want from anywhere using your phone and get alerts if it detects movement. And it also stores video of any movement detected in the cloud for seven days for the free users and 14 days for premium. Something you may want to consider is whether to hide or camouflage the phone. The advantage of most of these cameras is that the lenses are actually pretty small, so only a small hole is needed to get a picture through. Here I've used a punch to put a nice neat hole in a suitable camouflage to put the phone in. This means we can leave the phone in a convenient position without it being too noticeable. If Alfred Cram detects movement, we get a notification on our phone and are able to replay what it saw, as well as live view the current situation. You could position the camera where you want to get a view in the van or even looking out a window to give you an early warning if someone is around your van. Although Alfred Cam will only detect movement on one camera, it does allow you to select between the forward and backward facing cameras when viewing, so if you're creative with where you position it, you can get a good all round view. If you want to, you can also remotely activate an alarm on the phone, or you can talk back through the phone to anyone that's present. We were away from the van. Whilst not true infrared night vision, it does allow you to apply a low light filter to give better visibility in the dark. 
So if you have an old phone lying around and want to make use of it as a hotspot, tracker, CCTV or even all three, these are simple and easy ideas for help and peace of mind. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.